Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make videos based on food, budgeting, a lot of Trader Joe's stuff, and travel. So today what I've got for you guys is a fun budget related um, video. I have put together five meals that cost tw under $25 total and this is enough for two adults. So I'm going to show you guys what we got and we're going to break down each of the meals as well. All right, so first I'm gonna show you guys the haul of the groceries that we got for the five dinners, and then we'll go into you know every single meal for this week. So first is a can of diced tomatoes for pizza sauce, a pizza dough. We love this pizza dough. I've hauled this many times, it's so good. A mozzarella cheese chub, and obviously that's going to be for pizza. For vegetables, we got some asparagus. I love when the asparagus is thin like this, so this looks so good and I had to have it. Then we got some red potatoes, and this will be for two dinners, and then a zucchini. Then for the veggies and potatoes, we got two meats. We got a pork tenderloin, this was 311. And then we got some chicken drumsticks. This was also a 311. Then another dinner we're gonna do is breakfast for dinner. So we got a carton of eggs, some of the meatless breakfast patties, which is basically like sausage patties. And then the hash browns. Again, I've hauled these before. These are one of our like favorite items from Trader Joe's. They're so good. And then one last dinner, a nice and easy one is the pork goiza pot stickers. These are our favorite pot stickers that Trader Joe's has. And then to go with that, a side of vegetable fried rice. So that's everything we got for the five dinners this week. While the total of all of this may be a little over $25, when you break it down for what we're actually going to use, like we're not gonna eat the entire packet of hash browns for dinner. So if you break it down like per serving, um, it will be under $25. Okay, so the first meal, we used half of the bag of the red potatoes, the pork loin, as well as the zucchini. Now the potatoes, the original idea was to do smashed potatoes, which would have just required olive oil and salt. However, as you can see, that didn't turn out well. So since they were already boiled, I had to turn them into mashed potatoes, which did require a few other ingredients that I already had in my fridge but you could just roast the potatoes or grill them and that would only require olive oil and salt and would turn out just as good. Um, so here's the finished dinner. This is the pork loin, the potatoes, and the grilled zucchini. And this is one of my favorites of the five dinners that we did. This turned out really, really yummy. So the next dinner is breakfast for dinner. We used half of the pack of hash browns, all of the meatless breakfast patties, and three of the eggs. So we've never tried these meatless breakfast patties before, but these actually turned out really good. Um, all I did was I popped them in the microwave for a few seconds to defrost and then fried them up in the pan. And I did the same thing with the hash browns. The hash browns are one of our favorite things from Trader Joe's. It's $1.99 a pack, but we used just four of them, so I'm cutting it down to a dollar. Um, in terms of serving. So these we just fried up in the pan as well as the sausage. We've, well, meatless patties <laughs> we also fried up in the pan. And then the eggs we scrambled and then that all came together really well for a delicious breakfast for dinner meal that costs $4.54 total for the whole thing. Okay, the next one is super easy. Um, all we did was the pork goiza, which is $2.99 for the pack. We fried up the whole bag of those. And then the vegetable fried rice, which is $2.49 for the whole bag. And that is the whole meal. It was the goizas and the fried rice. Super quick, super easy, great for a weeknight meal and comes together really nicely. This actually ended up making us three servings. We had an extra serving for lunch, so it costs $5.48 for three servings, so um, breaking that down just for dinner would be even less than $5. Um, this made a lot of food. 
The next dinner, we used the chicken drumsticks, just marinated these in some olive oil and spices that we had in the cabinet, and then the asparagus, as well as the other half of the red potatoes. So the asparagus was um, $2.29, which made this meal a little over $5. Um, you could choose a cheaper vegetable, and this would definitely be less than $5, but the asparagus just looked so good that I had to have it. And this came together really well, a really tasty dinner. The chicken was done on the grill. And again, you can make this even cheaper if you used a different vegetable. For the last dinner, we are doing pizza. So we have the pizza dough, um, which we typically use half of a pizza dough when we make our pizza because we like to do thin crust and make it crispy. So split the cost of that in half. Then a can of tomatoes for sauce. I actually already had a bunch of sauce pre-made, so I'm just using that, but you can use diced tomatoes to make some homemade pizza sauce. And then we're gonna use the mozzarella. We use typically about two thirds of the mozzarella chub on our pizza, um, so breaking that down, that would be $2 for two thirds of it. So to make our pizza, we typically, again, split the dough in half and just press it out nice and thin, and then top it with the pizza sauce, which is just tomatoes and olive oil and salt. That's, as, that's all we do for our pizza sauce, and then the cheese. That goes in the oven for um, 10 minutes at 500 degrees Fahrenheit, and that typically gets it nice and crispy, and just how we like it. And this cost us $3.64 for a whole pizza, and this is something we make pretty much every week. Um, we do this, literally, we call it Pizza Friday, so we make pizza every Friday, and we typically do just a typical plain margarita, and this is a super great budget-friendly meal. All right, so that was it. That was five dinners for $25, about an average of $5 per meal, all from Trader Joe's. So hopefully this gives you guys some good ideas for how to shop on a budget at Trader Joe's and still have some really yummy dinners. And I would love to hear some of your suggestions. If you guys have any $5 meal ideas, leave them in the comments. Definitely think it's a great way to challenge yourself to eat cheap and save money while shopping at Trader Joe's. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to see more and we'll see you in the next one.